Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dragonaut, and this is our Project Zomboid. Let's play as a Black Ops insurgent on a secret mission to find the elusive military base. Somewhere in the vicinity of the southwestern part of the map, I suppose. I can give that much away. Uh, we're starting from the pause menu because there's, well, there's zombies on my back, and I need to start running pretty much immediately, as you can see. And get rid of them. Um, the screeches are a big problem because they keep attracting an ever-growing horde towards me. Um, but it's not just them. It's... Oh, Jesus, they are coming, aren't they? I like how ridiculously long the pistol is. That's pretty much the only reason I'm, I'm keeping it and I want to use it as my go-to pistol, right? Well, that and the terrific amount of damage that it does, but... Primarily the length, because um, I can truly become the Spec Ops operative with the big iron on his hip, right? Um, well, truth be told, I kind of always wanted to do that. Okay, sit down. And I guess I'm escaping this way. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I really didn't expect to find this many of them out here. Especially not in the woods, but I'm assuming the explosion, which happened at some point in the last 10 years, attracted a large number of them here, and then they just lingered with nowhere better to go. Christ almighty. Okay, there's more here than there was on the highway. I can see the one running towards me. Yeah, there's definitely more in the woods than there are on the highway. So the woods are very much not safe. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you know what I think is happening? That shouldn't happen, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not how travelling works for them. I was thinking, while you're away, sort of off map, off the, away from this chunk, they might travel through these walls because of the, uh, the way zombie travelling works off-camera, but they shouldn't be able to walk through solid objects. I know they can walk through stairs. Um, stairs are not considered a solid object. I know, I know. But, um, so they can end up, like, behind stairs and stuff in places which, which are technically unreachable. Um... Maybe there's a hole in the fence? Or several, I hope at least, I don't know. Christ, there are so many chasing after me, it's getting a bit ridiculous. I need to take all these pills. Because I'm not going to be getting any sleep anytime soon, and... Small burst of energy provided by them that reduces fatigue will uh, certainly help. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's how they spawned in. They spawned in on both sides of the fence. That could be a thing. Um. Like that's probably a thing, because over here I'm not seeing as many, or I'm, I'm not seeing any over here. Uh, but it does leave me wondering 
if there's a hole in the fence over here or not. Probably not, right? Wouldn't make much sense if there was. This was built, I'm assuming, after the initial infection and... Uh, The idea was to keep the town safe and locked away, so these will probably hold remarkably well. Yeah, there's no point in exploring this anymore. The fence is nigh on indestructible. Unless you have a, a sledgehammer, but uh, I don't. So. The plan is, then, I guess, to leave and head towards the gate again, just hopefully. Oh. Road. And where there is a road, there are usually vehicles and purpose to that road existing. Well, there is rather a purpose to that road existing, such as a military base, a factory, a house, or something. That the road connects. And at this stage, even if the road leads to straight back into town, I would take it. That's a feral, that's a spear. I kind of want that spear now. Do I? Eh, not really. There's no need to switch from, from long blunted. He says switching to short... Oh, I'm sorry, long blunted. There's no need to switch from long bladed to something else. He says switching to short bladed. But yeah, I want to get the... I want to level that up a little bit too, because... Uh, yeah, short blunt. Here and there, long blunt. Fully leveled. Bladed, not blunt. I, I keep saying blunt, I'm sorry. I meant to say bladed. No, I want your uh, feral friend to wake up and come and get me. Well, not come and get me. Try and come and get me, right? Hi. bit tired of running, are we? Yeah, I get that. Spear with bread knife. Never mind. Uh. <laughs> that's like, out of all the weapons, that's one I don't really think would work. A bread knife. I mean, I guess it depends on the type of bread knife, right? But... All the ones that I've ever handled were extremely thin and flexible. And their stabbing power, if that makes sense. You can't really poke anything with them because they just flex. They, you know, are extremely thin. So I really doubt that that would be good for anything other than its purpose, which is dedicated in, you know, which is, uh, sorry, which is um, denoted in the name, right? To cut bread. It's great at cutting bread, don't get me wrong. Yeah, any kind of s slice thickness you want, but uh, in terms of being a self defense weapon, I really doubt that. In fact, I would go so far as to say that it is not a self defense weapon and cannot be used for those purposes. I'm not sure how the law defines it, but that is, I think, an interesting conversation to have. It is sharp, don't get me wrong, and, you know, anything sharp can be used to harm someone, but... As far as the legal definition of deadly weapon is concerned, you know, a, a chair isn't a deadly weapon, and you can certainly hurt someone with it. So, 
That's not the, the sole thing that's important here. McCoy logging. So this is where this leads. Okay, yeah, so I, I think it's pretty much just back into town, right? I'm taking a big risk here. Oh. McCoy logging. As in a forest. I... Not gonna lie to you, I was expecting to jump the fence and find a storage space for logs or a, a parking area or something for trucks and so on and so forth. Not an actual forest. Certainly surprised by that, not gonna lie. That's where we're spending the night. We just found the spot. Unfortunately. It's well, not unfortunately that we found the spot, but it's unfortunately that we have to spend the night here and can't go elsewhere. Also, we have to sit down for a minute. A little bit more. All right. Hopefully I can find, like, a jacket or something in the building. Probably a bit of food. It'll do. It'll do just fine. I wonder how many zombies, though, are inside. Outside I can deal with. Hope there isn't, like, a massive horde on the... Inside? Jesus, okay, I... Take it back. How many bullets do I have? 165. Now ah, what the hell? My idea is to draw them out, not just to shoot for the sake of shooting. The idea is to draw them out and pretty much anything else that's hiding nearby in the woods so I don't get nasty surprises tomorrow morning. Did it really get up? Eh, I don't know how to put this, but pistols really aren't that good, are they? Just look at this big iron on my hip, though. How do you not like this? How can you not? How can you not love it? Look at it. Nope, pistols are terrible. Um. Although I reckon my aiming probably leaves a little bit to be desired as well, doesn't it? Level 7. Fair enough, it's not level 10. Question is, does it need to be level 10 to one-shot everything? With 45 LC. Specifically. Because if it does... Yikes. Alright, I think that drew out most of them from the building, probably, and from the general area. I still have that coffee from previous episode. <laughs> it wasn't even that loud, it didn't draw these guys in. And I was shooting just over there. Okay. Man, that is embarrassing. That, that, that was like four shots in that one dude, and didn't do nothing.
Okay, that's a bit better. There's more coming from the sides. I'm thinking, since it's gonna be a while, probably until I find a hammer, I might want to settle in that building for a tad bit longer than expected, yes? Maybe even build a basement or get an RV here or something. And so, if I am going to do that, I might want to drag all of them out of the children's play area and generally this sort of um, fenced inside of the building and try and fight them this way. On the street, and gunshots are a good way to draw them out. Screaming is also another good way to draw them out, but something more dignifying about a gunshot than ah, you know. <laughs> uh, and uh, also, um, eh, never mind. It's too big of an apartment complex, I think, to wall off. Although there's a lot of trees right here, and it's not that much I would need to do. Let's see, it's like three buildings. It's it's an idea, all right, because you see what I would need? I would need like walls here, because these are unbreakable. It's an unbreakable fence, so I would need walls here. On the other side, down there, down there, and like basically uh, six times this, this much. It's like a small house worth of, uh, or a small shack worth of walls. Not that bad. I can probably get it done relatively quickly. And I probably have all the resources on me to do it. Um, well, you know, the woods outside, obviously, and all the nails and, and stuff that I need on me. That that wouldn't be a terrible idea, depending on how populated the buildings inside are. Well, I'm not seeing a lot of activity in the windows, so I don't know. Look at this. It's all fenced in. Ooh boy, it's all fenced in on this side as well. Yep, this is a good looking base. It's, it's... You might not think it off the get-go initially, because you look at these fences and you're like, ah, it's, it's not that good. It is. These are on these are those unbreakable fences, they're not the other ones, right? And it's all the way around. I just have to see this way, basically, if it's uh if it stops at the wall or if it continues going this way. Yeah, it stops at the wall, doesn't it? And then this way, are there windows is the biggest question. Because if it's just solid wall. And it looks to be just solid wall, yeah. Well, actually, it is. It is just wall. Um, this way, and then ah, so here is the hole in the fence, so to speak. Okay. Do you see the problem? You you could walk in from this way, following the McCoy logging wall and you can end up in the courtyard over here because this is not fenced off but we can fix that we can absolutely fix that lady why don't you come out here or better yet don't Do you know what better yet don't Okay, I like this. I like this building a lot. I think I can I can set up a Oh, 
base over here. Hey. Oi! Buggers, I really should use the voice activated thing. A lot more fun. Obviously more are going to be coming from the woods, uh, following all the gunshots and the screaming. That's fine. I'm going to lay them out over here on the road, and just keep this area clean. Oi! This way. Come on. We're going on a bit of a walk. Come on. You following? Yes, good, excellent. Behold. On the first day of gun must my Santa gave to me. I'm happy using the rest of my long coal ammo for uh, clearing this. House out, house out. This new base of operations out, let's say. Use the military lingo and act like the member of the of a military esque organization that I am. A fob, you might even call it. It's about time. I think the most fun in this game, at least for me, is using base building as a kind of creative outlet, if that makes any sense to you, um, and sort of working with that rather than just nomadic survival. But that said, you really should give the nomadic lifestyle a shot as well, because it changes the dynamic of the game as well. Uh, usually you're looking for Speaking of nomadic, yeah, that's a nomad right there. Um, speaking of nomadic, it's just so freaking fun. I'm sorry. Guns are not very good. I, I'm much better off using a. a pistol for this, or uh, I'm sorry, I'm much, much better off using a knife or a machete for this, or uh, heck, maybe even a shotgun. But that is just look at that. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, um... I think it's much more fun to use bases as a sort of creative outlet for, uh... your designer slash artistic needs, rather than a, a more pragmatic look to them. Because if you think about it, you don't really need a base. I mean, in the same way that you don't need your fourth gun, but you really want one, right? Uh, the same way that you don't need to eat a steak, you can eat something much more uh, affordable and much cheaper every day. But occasionally you want a steak, right? Occasionally you want something um, a bit luxury, you know? Um, and you don't need that car, you can get a cheaper one, etc, etc, you get the idea. But we don't live in an, exactly a needs-based society. Um, thankfully, we don't. Because that's kind of what, if you think about it, really, that's kind of what prison is, right? And even then, you have luxuries there. Um, there's more to life than just fulfilling your basic carnal animalistic needs. Um, and even if you if you look at it just like that, um, I'm speaking just for game reasons as well, even if you just look at it like that, I would say that the very nature of being human necessitates maybe not luxury, but creativity and excess, kind of, right? 
what I mean is it becomes a need. Because I don't think you can function as a human being just on bread and water, right? You need something else, and it, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a food. Just as, like, this doesn't necessarily have to be a base, it can be something else. But you need something to keep you occupied, something to keep you interested, something to... etc, etc. You get the idea, right? You need some kind of excess to strive towards, I guess, something that isn't just bare-bones survival, because we've sort of evolved as a species beyond bare-bones survival, and striving for more than just bare-bones survival, I think, is how we got to where we are. Um, and I don't just mean in the sense of, you know, thriving great society, building space program, etc., etc. No, I mean just leaving the caves, right? Um, and becoming more than just animals. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that's that's kind of my take on the whole thing. So I would say that art, poetry, creativity, in this case, you know, doing something nice to a base and to an area, becomes a need. Um, not for bare-bones survival, but for life. You know, for, for surviving in, in a sort of deeper sense. Having the will to survive, right? Having the will to, to live. Moral survival, if you will, in terms of or, uh, morale and survival, if, if that if that makes any sense. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but basically what I'm saying is you need a base, not because it's a necessity for your survival and that you will die without one, but because you need a base in order to keep yourself interested in life, if that makes sense, right? That that's that's what I'm saying. Um a lot of philosophy for someone who just spent a couple of hundred bullets, or expended a couple of hundred bullets to clear out the whole neighborhood, but, um... What else am I going to talk about? How each bullet was flying towards its target, and not particularly, uh, fascinating conversation to be had there, so, you know. Plus, it is kind of a reaction to something I heard, um, recently, where people are saying, well, you don't need to build a base. Why build bases? It's pointless. Not really. It's pointless in the sense of you you can survive without one, but you still need something that's more than just food and water in in, in game sense as well. I mean, you need more than just food and water to keep playing at the sort of most bare bones level of it. I really hope one of these apartments has bleach. Or, uh, what was the other thing? Cleaning fluid, I think, also works. What the hell? Am I really that tired? How the hell did that happen? I have several questions about how the hell that just happened. Remember how I had this whole spiel about how uh, wrestler zombies are some of the most dangerous? Case in point. Case in bloody point. Whew. 
So, um, a lot of them came from the garages, right? That's okay, that's good, that means I've cleared them out already. And there shouldn't be many more inside the actual building. But I need... I'll tell you what I need, I'm sorry for the clicking, I need to turn up the audio a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> so I can actually hear where the sounds are coming from, because otherwise it's... Sit down. Oh man, this is really a... Uh... A bit empty in it. Uh. Oh, this is like a nice little... Balcony, I guess? Of some description? Or is this just... No, no, this, this is definitely a balcony. Okay. Bit of a weird layout, like a bedroom leads to a balcony leads to a bedroom. Leads to two more balconies. Leads to how the hell did I get in here? Okay. <laughs> we go. Gotten a bit lost in a small apartment, I I know. Okay, I'm assuming the rest of the racket is coming from upstairs. Yep. Definitely seems like it. Okay. Did you just walk away from me? Highly rude. Oh, you're not dead. Jeez. Stop moving. Thank you. <laughs> Stop moving. Stop moving. Okay. Hungry, thirsty? No. I think it's just one more door, right? I think it's upstairs. Maybe two. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the house is ours. It's not a house, it's an apartment building. Yes, yes, yes. The apartment building is ours. Unfortunately, it seems a wee bit empty. Not a lot of stuff inside. But that's fine. 
I'm gonna, before I go to bed, I'm gonna start removing some of these wall vines, and uh, I'm gonna start clearing this place. Just the top floor, I think. The rest of the floors don't matter all that much. Oh, I can't clear that vine because of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, careful, don't break the window. Careful, don't break the window. And then let's remove all of this grass too. Clean up a little bit, at least just the bedroom before I go to sleep. Because this is something that I wanted to do for a long while, is to find a nice little base which I can then clean up. Remove all the overgrown vegetation and stuff, and uh, call it a home. And tell you what, I think that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Let's pick this up. And let's drop it off here, for example. Actually, there's a better place for it in general. Remove wall vine. Remove grass. Okay. Close this door. Lie down and go to sleep. Finally. Actually, no, not quite yet. Uh, I want to grab something to eat first. 120 bullets. Jeez. Okay. A uh, can of chili. Pretty much the last bit of food I have on me, I think, that I've brought from the uh, town. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Okay. Eat up and welcome to our new home. So, before the next episode, off camera, I am going to clean up a little bit. Um, just the top floor, like I said, there's no point in cleaning, clearing the lower ones because I'm not gonna live in them. Um, so I'm gonna clean up the top floor and I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna fence this off properly and we're gonna start building our base. Um, a lot of it I will do off camera because it's not very interesting to watch, just me, you know, chopping down wood and making planks and stuff. Uh, but I will take you uh, sort of step-by-step step what I've done so you can see um, this turning to an actual, you know, an actual base uh, rather than just me, you know, fl um, flicking a switch and, you know, you know um, snapping my fingers and turning it into you know, a proper survival base or whatever. Uh, I will take you one step at a time through it, but I will remove all the boring bits of me gathering resources and stuff when uh, nothing interesting is happening. All right, that's about it. I'll see you in the next episode for some base building, clearing, and, uh, you know, general quality of life stuff. Um, I'm going to actually start living properly in this area because it doesn't look like we'll be out of this Raven Creek place for a little while, at least until I find a sledgehammer, and even then the roads are... Uh, questionable uh, of questionable usability so yeah i can see this becoming a longer term base too and we can make, um, we, i'm pretty sure we can make a basement in the garage downstairs uh, and turn that into maybe like a little war room or something i have great ideas for this building i can sort of as soon as i saw it in, inspiration kind of struck for everything that i can make here um we're also gonna need a water collection aren't we uh well i suppose we can build a um before pipelines, uh, what's it called? Um, a water well down uh, downstairs as well. Or in the yard, that is. All right, I'll see you next time. Have fun, take care, bye-bye.